DIY Potting Soil Challenge Part 3. Hi everyone. If you're new to my channel, my name is Riley. Welcome to my garden. We're six weeks into the DIY Potting Soil Challenge. I want to go over everything with you. There is a lot of great growth with both the DIY Potting Soil and the store-bought Potting Soil and some not so great news about the pepper plants, but it had nothing to do with how we were growing them. Stay tuned for that. We're gonna get right into this. We're starting off here with our yellowfin zucchini. This is the DIY potting soil mix, and we've got a great zucchini coming in. We've got some female flowers behind that are yet to be pollinated that could potentially grow into zucchinis. This plant looks great. I've also got the first female flower that came off of this that did not get pollinated. That's going to rot off. I'll probably take that off today. Overall, the DIY potting soil mix with this yellow fin zucchini looks fantastic. Let's have a look at our store-bought potting mix with the zucchini and see how it looks. Our store-bought potting mix, we've got a great looking zucchini coming in. It is a little bit tapered on the end. That may be uneven watering for me. I did miss a day here watering this container. Or that could be just the fruit itself. We're going to keep it watered, see how that uh, turns out. As long as it doesn't rot off on the end, we're good to go. We've also got several other female uh, flowers coming in, waiting to be pollinated. So we should have even more zucchini coming off this plant. Overall, I'm going to give the edge to the store-bought potting soil with the zucchini at six weeks. That first zucchini looks pretty darn good. Having a look at our eggplants now, this is our eggplant planted in our DIY potting soil mix. And the plant looks great. It looks great. The eggplants look healthy. We've got one two, three, four, five, and just dropped a flower there. Five eggplants coming in. It is growing with three main growing stems right now. I am going to take off one of these, one of these stems and grow this with only two main growing stems to make sure I've got enough nutrients to, to keep this, this plant growing and these fruits fruiting Hopefully with the limited soil that I have, but I, I am over the moon with the DIY potting soil performance with these eggplants. They look absolutely fantastic. Here's our store-bought potting soil with our eggplant. Very nice eggplant coming in here. One, two, there's three more coming in. I think what I'm also going to do here, I know what I'm also going to do here, is I'm going to cut off this, this branch today and I'm going to let this eggplant grow with two main stems. But definitely, 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 the DIY potting soil mix has performed better so far. The fruits look better, they're bigger, they're healthier. DIY potting soil mix over the store bought for the eggplant without a doubt after six weeks. I had to take my camera out of the, the sun. It keeps uh, shutting off because of the heat. It's going to be 99 here today in South Texas. One thing I wanted to talk about with the eggplants was I went out two days ago and I picked off probably six or seven tomato hornworm caterpillars off of each of those eggplants. And I had not been using Bacillus thuringiensis before then on the eggplants. Uh, I did an application of it once I pulled off those tomato hornworm caterpillars and I've had no other damage. But there's a good lesson learned in that we shouldn't wait till we see the caterpillars before we begin using those organic preventative measures for caterpillars because they really can do a damage very, very quickly. I'll put up a picture here, one of my tomato plants overnight the damage that tomato hornworm caterpillars did to that plant. So that's a good lesson learned. Uh, we continue teaching ourselves. I say it all the time, don't wait for pests to show up. Use those organic preventative measures before they show up. And I didn't do it on these. And we're lucky we saved the eggplants, no major damage. Not so lucky with that tomato plant. 
Here is our lunch box peppers with the store-bought mix. And although this is coming back because of the weakness of the plant, it is just getting devoured by insects. I'm going to do an application of neem oil today to try to save this. Uh, let, me, let me go ahead and show you the DIY pepper plant. Um, that we have left because when I came out this morning, I'll show you exactly what I found. I'm pretty sure one of my puppies is the guilty party. Uh, and if so, I forgive them. But let me show you what happened with the other pepper plant. There you go. Broken off, all the leaves bitten off. There's a broken off here on the, on the ground. I'm not gonna save that one, guys. I do have another one in a, in a container and I'll transplant it today. But <laughs> this is just, uh, that's the life of gardening, right? Sometimes things just don't go the way you want them to go. The other two plants are still struggling. This is the other one that we almost lost. And I'll be honest, I don't think it's gonna come back, but we're gonna do everything we can to save it. This is the other DIY potting soil mix that I overwatered and it has never fully recovered, although we do have some green growth coming in. Uh, but not to worry, some success, some failures, and that is gardening, my friends, no big deal. I'm really impressed so far with the DIY potting soil. It, it performs as well or better than the most expensive store-bought after six weeks. I am really curious to see how well it does with the fruiting of the eggplant and the zucchini if there's enough nutrients in that potting soil mix and in those containers to take these to harvest size how big of a harvest i'm going to get from these containers so please stick around for that i'm also starting a lot of plants for my fall garden it's almost the middle of September now, or is the middle of September. I'll be planting these out in the next week or two. We've got bok choy, spinach, kohlrabi, which is my absolute favorite, uh, Chinese cabbage, and radishes, which I use to make kimchi, and we'll be making a video on that. So if you are not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you'll be notified next week when we put out another video. And to my subscribers, thank you for watching. Please hit that like button and please share the video. See everybody next week.